Good morning. Today we're going to do 4.5, which is on the quadratic formula. In the last section, when we used completing the square on the quadratic equation, we came up with a quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus um, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I want to point out here that when you have that plus or minus sign there, that means there's going to be two answers, two solutions, okay? So how to use this formula? We're going to write the quadratic equation in standard form, and remember that is ax squared plus bx plus c equaling zero. Then we're going to determine what our a, b, and c are. Remember that A is the one that's in front of the X squared, our B is in front of the X, and our C is the constant in back. Okay, then we're going to substitute our, our values for A, B, and C into the quadratic formula and solve. Now, the quadratic formula works on everything, okay? So if you get stuck on a problem, this is the one to roll out. It will work. Okay, so let's take a look at this first example here. It is not in standard form. I need an equal zero over here. So I'm just gonna move that to the other side and x squared plus six x minus 16 equals zero. Okay, so it is in standard form. Now it says determine your a, b, and c. So my a in this case is gonna be one, my b is six, and my c is negative 16. Okay, so we did that part. Substitute that into our formula. So I'm just going to write it down again. x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, I'm going to do this one the absolute longest way possible so you see how it works. Okay, the opposite of b. So x equals negative, and my b is 6, plus or minus. Square root, well, there's another b, so substituting that in, and we're going to square it. Minus 4, a is 1, so times 1, then times my c, negative 16. Okay, all over 2 times my a. There we go. So now let's start cleaning it up. So this will be negative six plus or minus square root 36. Negative and a negative is gonna give me a positive. And then we are going to have, what is that? Um, 64 plus 64 over two times one is gonna give me a two. All right, let's keep cleaning it up. X equals negative six plus or minus square root of 100 over two. Square root of 100 is 10. So let's take this up here. Negative six plus or minus 10 over two. Okay, now we need to do this twice, once for the positive and once for the negative. So negative six plus 10 over the two so that would give me, what, a 4 over the 2, which gives me a 2. Now I have a negative 6 minus 10 over 2, which will give me a negative 16 over the 2, which gives me a negative 8. So our answers in this case are 2 and negative 8. And if we had um, some you know, pretty answers like that, that means you could have factored this one here um, fairly easily. All right, and these are x-intercepts. Remember, our solutions are x-intercepts. All right, this next problem right here, um, I have a leading coefficient that is negative, and when we have that, it is so much easier to work this problem if our leading coefficient is positive. Okay, so what I want to do is basically divide both sides by negative 1. Or you can multiply both sides by negative 1. It's up to you how you want to think of that. 
basically it's just going to change the signs. Okay, so I have an x squared plus 4x minus 8 equaling 0. Okay, now let's identify our a, b, and c. So our a is going to be 1, our b is going to be 4, and our c is going to be negative 8. Okay, now we're going to put it into our formula, which goes x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus the 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so let's substitute in here. So that is a negative 4 plus or minus, okay, b squared. So that's going to be 16. Take the 4 and square it. Gives me 16. When I do this part back here, I multiply those two guys together. Gives me a negative 8. A negative 8 times a negative 4 is going to give me a positive um, 32. Okay, over 2 times 1, so 2. All right, let's clean it up a little bit more. Negative 4 plus or minus 48, square root of 48, over 2. All right, let's bring this up here. And now I have a negative 4 plus or minus. Well, 48, isn't that 16 times 3? 16 times 3, so that is going to become 4 um, square root of 3 over 2. Okay, well, I got a lot of even numbers right here, so up here in this top one, I am going to factor out a 2. Now, most of you will say, well, you can factor out a 4. Well, you could, but I want it to cancel with this down here, so I'm only going to factor out a 2. So factor out a 2, and then that would leave me a negative 2 plus or minus, factor out a 2 out of that, 2 square root of 3 over this 2. Now, when I have that, these guys are going to cancel out, and this is my answer right here. Okay, so negative 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 3. So the lesson on this one is, if you have a negative leading coefficient, your a is negative, um, multiply through by a negative 1 to get rid of that. Okay, this next one down here, um, the trick to this one is, so I'm looking at it, and I see I have a um, common factor in all of this. So I can factor out, in this case, uh, 2. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by 2. And I'll get a 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 equaling 0. Okay, identify your a, b, and c. a equals 9, your b equals negative 12, your c equals 4. Now you could use um, these numbers up here, but I mean, the, you'll be putting an awful lot of big numbers into this quadratic formula. It'll make it a little bit harder, okay? So smaller the numbers, the better. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it into our quadratic formula. So x equals opposite of b, so it's going to be a positive 12 plus or minus square root. Okay, take that negative 12 and you're going to square it, so that's going to give me a 144. Okay, and now I multiply those guys together, which is going to give me a 36. 36 times that negative 4 is going to give me a negative 144, all over 2 times the 9, so 18. Okay. So now I get 12 plus or minus the square root of 0 over 18. Okay, so square root of 0 is 0, right? So we'd have 12 plus 0 over 18 and 12 minus 0 over 18. So that gives me 12 over 18. This one gives me 12 over 18. So reduce it down, two-thirds, and two-thirds. This one has a double. So when you have 
this zero right here, you're gonna end up with a double. And you only need to do the work once. You don't have to do it twice. Okay, so our answer in this case is two thirds. And when you have that double, what is happening there is it is bouncing off the x axis at two thirds. Anytime you have a double, it bounces off the x axis there. Okay, so next one. All right, this one here, um, it's in standard form. Um, it's positive, there's no um, greatest common factor here. So identify your A, B, and C, get a two, negative four, and a five. Okay, formula, X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus the four AC all over two A. Okay, let's plug it in. X equals the opposite here, so that's gonna be a four, plus or minus, square that, it's gonna give me a 16. This gives me a 10 when I multiply it together. 10 times that negative four is gonna give me a negative 40. Then two times two gives me a four. All right, x equals four plus or minus the square root of, let me see, what's this one going to be? Um, negative 24. Yeah, negative 24. 24 is four times six. So in this case, I have x equals four. Oops, and I forgot to do the bottom half. And two times two, that gives me a four down there. Four plus or minus, this is gonna give me a two i square root of six over four. All right, now, we um, are gonna factor out a four because that's the, I mean a two, because that's all I can do up here. So if I factor out a two, I'll get a two plus or minus i square root of six all over two times two. Then these guys cancel out and this is my answer right there, okay? Now remember, if you have an i, no x-intercepts. Okay, next one here. This one here is not in standard form, so we have to get it into standard form before we can use our formula. Okay, so let's do the work. All right. It's still not in standard form. I need everything on one side equaling zero. So I'm gonna subtract the four X squared. I'm gonna add the eight X. That's gonna zero out that whole side over there. This will give me an X squared plus three X minus seven. Okay. Let's identify A, B, and C because it is now in standard form. That's gonna be a one, a three, a negative seven. Here's my quadratic formula up here, so let's plug everything in. X equals the opposite, so negative three, plus or minus square root, so that's gonna be a nine. Multiply that together, it's gonna give me a negative seven. A negative seven times the negative four gives me a positive 28, over two times the one gives me a two. So X equals negative three, plus or minus and that's going to be what, 37, square root of 37 over 2. And there's nothing we can do with that, so we're just going to walk away, okay? We can't combine those because they're not like terms. So get it into standard form before you start plugging it into the quadratic formula. Okay, this next one here is not in standard form as well. Well, let's get it into standard form. And to do that, I'm going to multiply through by the LCD. And the LCD in this case is x squared. So I'm going to multiply every term by x squared. Okay, 
So this is going to cancel with this. That's going to leave me at the 9x. Nothing's canceling there. And over here, those guys will cancel. Okay, I need to get it in standard form. And since it's a square, I need everything on one side equaling um, zero. And because that is negative, I'm going to move these guys to this side to make it positive, okay? So when I move those over, this will be a zero. Then I'll get a positive 2x squared, a negative 9x, and the positive 5. Okay, so when those moved over, they changed signs. This one um, stays the same because it was on that side. Okay, so my A is going to be 2, my B is negative 9, and my C equals 5. Okay. Um, formula again, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus the 4ac all over 2a. Okay, opposite, so that's going to give me a 9. Plus or minus square root, square it, 81. That gives me a 10. 10 times that negative 4 gives me a negative 40. All over 2 times 2 gives me a 4. Okay. So now let's clean it up. I got a 9 plus or minus square root of 41 over a 4. And that's it. That's as far as we can go with that. Okay. So get it into standard form before you plug it in. Now this next one here, I've seen people do some pretty crazy stuff with a problem like this. They're sticking fractions into the quadratic formula. That seems like a nightmare. Why would you want to do that? Let's clean this one up first, doing the same process we did up here, doing the uh, multiplying through by the LCD. So in this case, my LCD is 6. I'm going to multiply every term by 6. Okay. Those cancel out, leaves me an x squared. This becomes a 1, that's a 3, so plus 3x, plus, this becomes a 1, that becomes a 2, plus 2 equals 0. Doesn't that look a lot easier than what you just had? Okay, so highly recommend you don't use fractions in the quadratic formula. Just clean it up by uh, multiplying through by the LCD. Okay, so let's identify our A, B, and C. So 1, 3, and 2. My formula is right here, so let's plug it into that. All right, x equals the opposite, so negative 3, plus or minus. Okay, now we're going to square it, 9. That gives me a 2 when I multiply it by the negative 4. It gives me a negative 8 all over um, 2 times 1, so it gives me a 2. So x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. Well, square root of 1 is 1, right? So now I have a negative 3 plus or minus 1 over 2. Do the work twice. Negative 3 plus 1 gives me a negative 2 over 2, which is a negative 1. Negative 3 minus 1 gives me a negative 4 over the 2 which is a negative 2. Now, if you look back right here, you could have factored that fairly easily and then um, solved that. Okay, um, in this particular section, you need to pay really close attention to what the instructions on the homework problem say. There's like a you know new instruction for each and every problem. So, pay really close attention to what they want you to do. But basically, they want you using the quadratic formula, just how you, and putting your answers different on each and every question. So pay close attention. All right, enjoy.